everybody. been canceled. What are you talking about? The show. The Donnie and Marie show's canceled. I got the call about an hour ago. I don't understand. What happened? Nothing happened. It ran its course. Four seasons. That's more than a lot of shows get. I'm happy with that. No, you're not. No, I'm not. What are we going to do now? We still have a network commitment for the family specials. Will that really cover our costs, Alan? Will it? No. We gave up our music. Our plan for this. We got canceled, that's all. It's not a reflection on the work. We did a good job. Bottom line is, the show was a success. Bottom line is, we had our music going for us. We gave it all up for this, and now what? Did you tell father? The others? Not yet. Alan. Are you okay? I failed. All of us. What can I do to help you? I'll figure something out. I always do. Chapter 11, you file for bankruptcy, all debts are canceled. No. This family will not betray those who trusted and believed in us. We will not run from our debts. The legal partnership holds each of you individually liable for the corporation's debts. I know I'm speaking for all of us. What if we're willing to sell everything we own? Interest rates are at 21%. Are you willing to settle for cents on the dollar? That's what you'll get on a quick sale. I don't understand. $80 million. Even if the studio went under, we should still have half our net worth. I'm afraid not, Wayne. It's more than just studio costs. The almond orchards, your transfer facilities. What do you mean? You mean it's all gone? All of the money? Everything that we've earned since we were kids? Senior prom. You ever wonder what that would have been like? I swear. My kids are going to have a normal life. Remember when we were kids on the way to work, we used to pass that park? I had this recurring fantasy of father telling me that I could just skip rehearsal and play quarterback. To be fair, there are perks to fame. Women want you. Men want to be you. Everybody knows your name. I'm sorry, Mr. Osmond, your card's been declined. You see? He knows my name. It is on the card, Wayne. Right. You got five? Yeah. Please, Donnie. It's not a big deal, okay? 
What are you talking about? A $20 spaghetti dinner? Wayne couldn't even pay for it. What do you want from me? You think I planned this? How do you think I feel? It affects me, too. You and Meryl made all the decisions. And you got all the glory. Now you want to give me all the blame? There were people we trusted, people who let us down in a big way. Well, then let's file charges against them and go to court. It's not that simple. You want to see this go public? You want to see the Osmond family dragged through the mud? You know how much fun the press would have with this? You're you're the one to get dragged through the mud. You made all the decisions, not us. You all got to vote. On what? Marie and I were like puppets. We never had a say in anything. No, all you had was the network's number one show. We built a great studio. We produced a hit. We made movies, TV specials. We put out some of this family's best work, and you were out front taking all the credit. Now we're in trouble, and you want me to take all the blame? I didn't ask to be in charge. I got stuck with the job. I told you there would be risk. You never told us we could lose everything. How was I supposed to know? How? You tell me how. This family is coming apart at the seams. We have suffered a devastating loss. I blame myself for trusting certain individuals to run our financial affairs. You've worked so hard. This loss hurts. I'm asking you to forgive me. Forgiving and moving on from this loss will be the hardest thing this family has ever done. We have to find it in our hearts to stop blaming each other. Start supporting each other. You children have been given a gift. It's your mission. It hasn't been failed. It hasn't been lost. George, I will not listen to any more talk about blame from you or from anyone. You didn't fail us, Daddy. Yeah, don't say that. Every decision I ever made, right or wrong, in the back of my mind, there was always one goal. Keep this family together. I wanted my children to have something I never had. A haven, a fortress. People who could be counted on. That's a family. If that's been lost, then we really have lost everything. It's not lost. Alan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have never said that to you. I have an idea. What is it, Jimmy? Why don't we put a tour together? 